take this hammer and carry to the captain until I'm gone. Until I'm gone. Until I'm gone. Spike Drive the Blues, uh, Mississippi John Hurt, yeah, um, done by lots of people since then. Um, I've got a good version of uh, Jerry Garcia doing it with like a country bluegrass sort of live gig. Uh, don't know much more about it than that. A mate just gave me a tape years ago. Um, but anyway, Spike Drive the Blues, um, you can do it in lots of different ways. Uh, I'm going to look at doing it a mainly sort of bluesy sort of way here. Um, but I'll show you how to throw in a few sort of majory country things. If you want to, you can do that to this. Um, also, what's most important about this song, really, as far as your learning, your ongoing learning, is the alternating thumb. If you can get that right with this one, um, that's, a, that's a major breakthrough in your playing because um, that's, a, that's a great uh, skill to be able to take into other things. Uh, but um, in order to do that, you really need a strong right hand. So for now, if you just want to learn the tune too, that's fine. Yeah? So let's just get on and, um, and focus on the tune first, shall we? Let's learn the song, right? All right. Come down onto my left hand. Start on the 12th fret. So it's a... Uh, like that, 12th, 10th, 12th. I won't worry, won't bother counting it out. There's the melody there. You can listen to it and get grab that. Da, 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 da. And then down to the uh, top of the neck up here, bottom of the neck where you go, third fret, fourth fret, open. So again. Like that. Again. And then third, fourth, open. If you want to do it in that more sort of country style, I'd go from the second fret to the fourth fret there. So like this, this. Yeah, so that bar, bar, that's more of a, a country thing, whereas sliding from the third fret up to the fourth is like a blues way to go. So yeah, up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, and then slide up to the third fret, tell him I'm gone. And then back down to the open, and then third, open, tenth. And then ninth, tenth, twelfth. Tell him I'm gone. Tell him I'm gone. Tell him I'm gone. Like that. And then tell him I'm gone. Back to there again. So the whole thing, it's pretty simple. Again, you might want to blues that last one out, or just take it up to the fourth fret if you if you if you want to make it a sort of more of a straight, um, straight sort of uh, traditional sort of folky country sort of thing. Okay, uh, to your right hand then. Uh, let's have a look over here, shall we? Zoom that down there a little bit. So really, there's no secret, I'm afraid. you just got to learn, to learn to do that. I've got some palm muting going on there, so I've got my palm on the, on the bridge and then rolling that over so that the bass string's not so um, dominant. And then when I want to get stuck in, I just move that back up and a bit louder but that's that's a good option to have there and I've just got my hand rolled over so I've got my thumb on the two bass strings and I'm only playing the melody with my top string there yeah top string yeah. like that so really there's no secret I'm afraid you're just gonna have to learn to do that and then get that right be really comfortable with that make sure your shoulders relaxed make sure you can just do that in your sleep do it a lot and then stick the melody on top. What you don't want to have to try and do is try and coordinate the melody with the thumb. Uh, that just becomes confusing. There's too much. Learn the melody first, 
learn to be able to do that and then play it. Right? You've got that humming along so that the bass note there in the, on the G is on the one and then you play the, the five on the middle string on the two and then the three and then the four. So it helps me, you might try it, to tap my foot on the two and the four. Just helps that to sort of groove along, yeah? So that becomes your bass player, but also your drummer, if you can get that groove happening. Slow it down, of course, to when you're learning it, so. See, I missed that up tonight. Because I'm trying to do two things at once. Let's just get that going. That's just an example of how difficult it is to try and coordinate the two lines. Just get that going. Do that independently. And then play, then play the melody on top and get those two together, all right? So what that does, it gives you that big strong note on the one. Don't think about it too much, because that'll really do your head in. All right, uh, Spike Driver Blues. There we go. Yeah, don't think about it too much, um, is, is the takeaway from that one. Spike Driver Blues, uh, have a go, even if you're just learning the melody and strumming along, you know, it'll work. That'll work too, yeah. I prefer the thumb thing, but it's up to you. Cheers, have fun with that. <laughs>